On the last video I showed you how to pass a string and return it as a type. Uh, that's using the string type and now I'm going to show you how to do it using a character array. It is a little different. It is a little different. I'm going to show you the feature using um, pointers which uh, we're going to cover in quite a bit of detail in a couple of other videos but uh, this is your introduction to pointers. Let me point out to you pointers that an array is a pointer. They're indistinguishable inside the machine itself. So I'm going to say character asterisk um, and we're going to say my name. Now at this particular point I've declared my name as a pointer to characters, one or more characters. We don't know uh, what's contained in my character. In fact at this point there's no characters set aside at all. So what we have to do now is we have to go to the operating system and we have to say give me some characters. All right, so and that is done like this. We say my name is equal to new character, and we'll just go ahead and say give me 21 of them. Remember that uh, I I can store 20 in this because I need at least one character for the uh, uh, terminator. Now I'm going to put some uh, characters inside that name uh, because it's not a string, a string library. We can't use the equal sign to do an assignment operation. We have to use the string copy. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to say str copy, okay, and we're going to say into my name, my name, my name, okay. I could copy it from another character array, but I'm just going to put a literal in here, David A. Gators, okay. String copy will take care of putting in the null terminator for us, okay. And we're going to print it out just to show you that it's there. Our original name is, and then we'll put, okay, my name, and Dell. There we go. So I should do it. Um, now we're going to write the routine to actually changes that and returns it as a type, and it has to be a character array. Little tricky, little tricky. We're going to show you. We're going to go up here and we're going to declare the prototype. We're going to say character asterisk. It's returning a pointer, remember. Okay. Return character array. And we're going to pass into it a character C, character array. Again, you notice we're using the pointer. We're using the asterisk to say I'm passing in a pointer. We're going to write the function now itself. I'm going to copy this. Go down to the bottom, paste it. Take off the semicolon, add a left and right bracket, and now we're ready to go. Okay, so here we want to actually change it. Changing it's not very tough. Okay, because essentially I'm passing in a pointer. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say str copy. Okay, to C. Okay, William Shakespeare. Probably spelled it wrong. Don't care. Okay return. Uh, make sure that it is uh, uh, less than 21. I have done that, so it is. And then we're going to just say return C. Okay. Now what we're going to see here is uh, when we get back, we're going to say uh, uh, my name, my name is equal to return character array and we're going to say pass it my name okay. and we're going to print it out just to show that it has been changed name has, name has been changed to my name Indel. Okay, let's save this Okay. Looks good. All right, let me build it. All right, and let's run it and just show you that it does work. Okay, name's been changed to William Shakespeare. So this is how it's done. Uh, keep in mind, this is a pointer. This is how we declare it. This is how we go out and get new space for it. This is the call to the routine itself, and the routine has to return a character pointer. Those are the important features. Uh, practice this one a couple times. This one's a little tricky. 
and uh, we'll go on to our next subject.